Hello YouTube, wanted to do a video today. I ran into a little bit of a problem when I reinstalled Arch Linux and requires a little bit of configuration um, or some editing in the uh, configuration for Pulse Audio in order to um, set my USB mic as the default. So I figure I'd go ahead and show this to you. Let me uh, pull up a terminal here and let me show you how to do this and see if it doesn't work for you if you're running into the same problem. Um, here's the command. It's uh, PackMD list sources, and then what you're going to do is you're going to pipe to a grep for the device string and the name, okay? So I'll leave that up there just for a second so you can take a look at it, pause it if you need to, and uh, when you hit enter, it's going to come down here and it's actually going to list your, your devices, and I have an ALSA input, you can see right here, the ALSA input USB, this is TP6920, that's the, uh, the microphone that I'm using, the USB mic and you see it's listed as a hardware 2. Now what you need to do is once you have this information um, you're going to have to open your default PA um, uh, file, which is a configuration file, and this is the command that I'm going to use for it, sudo, and I'm going to open it up with gedit. You can use whatever your uh, um, uh, text editor is here and but you are going to need root permissions. The file is located at Etsy Pulse Default.pa. Uh, before you do that, go up here and, and choose the uh, the device that you want to set as default. And you'll want to grab all of it. Okay. Right click and go copy. Okay. Now once you open this, and I've already made the changes, but let me go ahead and open this for you open that up and as we scroll down here at the bottom you can actually see right here at the bottom it says make some default devices default um, what I did is I took two different methods and this is the one that I I used and it actually worked all I had to do was do set default source which is like what you would have here the input and instead of the input um, you can see all I did is I replaced input with the actual device name okay and that was enough to fix it now one thing about this is just to make sure if if pulse audio already sees it but it's just not using the right one so as an example um, let me go ahead and open up the pulse audio real quick and that command is uh, p a uh, u v control right oops or p a v u control there it is p a v u control but when you open this up and you go over here and you're looking at input devices okay you can have several of them now what was happening was the microphone that i had set up over here this one was the monitor for the built-in analog stereo which is basically the microphone jack on my computer um, on my motherboard and that was was being loaded as the default and I wanted this one which is my my desktop USB microphone loaded as default so um, that was kind of the situation but if Pulse Audio and ALSA are already seeing um, the the device that you want you don't have to do anything other than to list it off just like I showed you Okay, so if it showed it there, then all you had to do was do it this way. Okay, and then set the set the device or set set default source, and then you just re replace the input with the item. You know, whatever whatever the name is that you cut and pasted. That's as long as Pulse Audio actually already saw it. Okay, now if it doesn't, then you probably have to load a module, and that's why I had the second one in here just in case. Um, but I didn't need to use the uh, the also module um, because it was already seeing it in Pulse Audio. Okay, so hopefully this has helped you out. And what that will do is I, I was running into a big problem even like with Skype, um, where when I would load it and I would start Skype up, I could hear the other person on the other line or on on the other end of the call, but they couldn't hear me because it was trying to use the wrong um, input. 
So I was able to go in and by doing this, that also fixed that problem. So if you're running into these kind of problems, you definitely want to dictate uh, where your where your uh, default is. And once you do this in the default PA, as soon as you start up your computer, um, it will load this configuration and set uh, your defaults where they need to be. Now you can also set your default outputs kind of the same way, but you're gonna you know uh, your command. Um, to pull it up is going to be a little bit different. There's there's a page if you look under uh, Pulse Audio under in, in the uh, Arch Linux um, website, um, it gives a uh, it gives the instructions on how to set your default output as well if you have multiple outputs. Um, so that being said, hopefully that's helped you out. Uh, please like, subscribe, share the video, and uh, stay tuned for future videos. Thanks a lot.